Millions of Big Macs, quarter pounders, and filet fish are eaten every day. But have you ever wondered where those buns come from? John Lawrence takes us to St. Paul, where a handshake deal helped a family run bakery grow with the Big Mac in this week's Finding Minnesota. Lunch hour at any McDonald's means a steady stream of cheeseburgers, Big Macs, and quarter pounders. But before they made their way to hungry customers, each of these buns got their start in St. Paul. It's a lot of hamburger buns. It's, you know, for every one of those billions and billions of hamburgers sold on the, on the arch, uh, all of them had a bun on them. Steve Baldinger will tell you that the bun is the suit of the hamburger. And in that case, the Baldinger family has made billions of suits over the years. You're almost expected to follow in your father's footsteps. And that's basically what happened to me. There are many family-run businesses across the country, but the Baldingers can trace theirs all the way back to 1888, when Bob's grandparents started a bakery in St. Paul. But then my father died in uh, 1949, so I got to run the bakery when I was 22 years old. A scary reality for any young business owner, but as fate would have it, Bob caught the break of a lifetime. And he explained me they're going to open a 15-cent hamburger bun and be open all year round. The man asking Bob to make buns for his restaurant worked for Ray Kroc, owner of a little venture called McDonald's. Who the heck opens a, a drive-in and opens all year round? Nobody ever did that. And we're going to sell 15 cent hamburgers. Oh, that's crazy. Luckily, Bob said yes. The, the party left out was we had never made a hamburger run before in this business at all. <laughs> they learned fast. While bigger bakeries said no, a handshake deal meant the Baldingers supplied the buns from Minnesota's first McDonald's, which opened in Roseville in 1957. When we had first started with McDonald's and they went from one store to two stores to ten stores to fifteen stores and they got big faster than we got big. Then McDonald's basically said, you know, uh, we're going to stick with the guy who stuck with us. Another one of those groundbreaking shots uh, from Eva Street. In a sense, the two companies grew together in Minnesota, from a bakery the size of a conference room to one that now operates on 145,000 square feet. We produce, you can do the math, uh, 5,500 dozen hamburger buns in one hour. That's more than one and a half million buns a day. The Baldingers now ship buns to 586 McDonald's restaurants. Not a bad handshake deal for a Minnesota family. It's a great sense of pride to be part of, you know, a pretty unique story in feeding America and now feeding the world. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Baldingers also have two bakeries in Canada, and they have over 200 employees in all three locations. Right now, they are also making a Grand Mac bun for McDonald's, which is bigger than a Big Mac. Bob turns 90 in July. His sons, Steve and Dave, are fourth-generation employees of the company. Pretty cool.